Hello Yu-Gi-Oh players and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh and Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB0. Today, let's talk about aggro. What is aggro? Well, first off, aggro is a strategy based in a dominance of field presence. And I'm not talking any of that wussy field removal stuff. I'm talking about piling on the biggest beaters you can find as quickly as as possible. So how do you know that you're an aggro player? Well, chances are, if you're an aggro player, you like your Yu-Gi-Oh! duels to be fast and brutal. You don't want to deal with any of that messy grind game stuff. That's too boring for you. You want your games to be high octane and go for about five, six turns max before one player is just totally overpowered. Chances are, if you like to play aggro decks, you find control decks extremely annoying and hard to deal with, because they seem to be have it, to be able to deal with any play that you put on the board. If you try to go for an OTK, they're going to stop you and then just remove everything that you've worked for. And chances are that if you are an aggro player, if you like to play aggro decks, you find stun decks kind of silly. They try to stop all of your plays, but ultimately they fail because you push through them too hard. So those are some signs that you might like to play stun decks, or aggro decks, sorry. Um, so what do aggro decks look like? Uh, as a win condition, aggro is very high octane, which means they also tend to have to be very toolboxy, because in order to sustain such a high-powered strategy, they have to be able to continuously create resources. Um, an aggro-based deck is any OTK-based strategy, short of, you know, um, the decks that must not be named, like um, Empty Jar or Exodia. We choose to ignore those. But other than those, the vast majority of OTK-based strategies are aggro decks. But not all aggro decks are focused on OTKs. Chances are, if a deck is aggro, it is meant to put big monsters on the board with a lot of field presence. A lot of very spammy decks that don't necessarily put huge monsters on the board, but put a lot of them on the board, are probably aggro decks. Some prominent aggro decks, well first off, Dragon Rulers, probably the most powerful aggro deck ever created. Um, another example of an aggro deck, Mermails, Girgia, or Karakuri Girgia, or any Karakuri based deck, um, most plant synchro or syn synchron or any type of really synchro heavy deck tends to be pretty aggro, um, with the exception of maybe things like scraps and black wings, uh, but I'll get to black wings later. Um, another example um, is fish OTK, that's another OTK based strategy. So uh, Dark World is also an aggro based strategy, very, very aggro, based on putting them big beaters on the board very, very quickly. Um, so, aside from aggro win conditions, there are also aggro secondary strategies. Aggro secondary strategies tend to deal with level 4 monsters with 1800 or more attacks, sometimes 1700, but usually 1800 or 1900, that are meant to follow up on a devastating stun or control play. Um, for instance, uh, Dino Rabbit is a deck with an aggro secondary strategy. You have your Logia, but once you have done your stun thing, if you have those big beaters in your hand, like your um, Saber Saurus and stuff, you are A-OK -okay because you uh, have the that really heavy attack power to bust through. That is what a an aggro secondary strategy looks like. Evil Swarms also do it. Constellars also do it. Um, to a degree, wind-ups do it. Wind-up is a very control-type deck, but sometimes wind-ups will put a ton of field presence on the board at once. That's a very aggro secondary strategy. So those are what aggro decks look like and kind of an overview of what aggro is like as a playstyle. Are you an aggro player? Let me know down below. And then, of course, subscribe for more deck discussion analysis and general Yu-Gi-Oh! shenanigans. Meanwhile, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Of course, let me know why in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB0, and I got a jet. See you guys.